Hello again. Today I'm going to be using these um, pastel color chalk from Joanne Fabrics to make some colored acrylic. I've got already purple and yellow made. Here's the purples. I love this purple on the left. It's so light and so pretty. It's perfect for Easter, which is kind of what I'm going for. There's that. And here's our yellows. The one on the left is the one added with white. I don't know if you can tell, this light's kind of harsh. And this one's the one with just clear acrylic. I've already started grinding up a little bit of my blue. I'm just going to get enough in here to fill about two cuticle pushers worth. And I'm using a, a fine sanding bit on my Koopa on medium high speed. That should be enough anyhow. And I'm going for very pastel, pretty, light, nice, beautiful colors, so it's going to be nice and springy looking. I'm so excited for spring. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go into an empty powder container. I'm just going to dump it in. Actually, I should probably measure it out first. One and three quarters, I'd say. And then that's about how two would look. You know what? I'm just gonna add the rest of this. I'm gonna say about two and a quarter to two and a half scoops of color. That sounds about right. Two and a half scoops. Make sure there's no chunks. There might be chunks. I haven't mastered this yet. But sometimes you can blend it out while you're applying the acrylic, so it sometimes works out just fine. Now I'm taking my clear. I don't have much left now. And then I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half scoops of clear. Put my lid back on. And then I'm going to apply the lid to this and then shake it pretty well until it all gets mixed together. And I can say already, I'm probably going to want to add some white because I'm going for, like I've said, the um, pastel colors. And it seems when you mix a color, I'll just take this purple for example. You see how light this purple is? on the chalk and then when you add the monomer and the acrylic and everything it makes it really dark so adding some white will definitely help bring up the lighter color in it because actually these look about the same for the most part and I really like the pretty light colors just gonna give this a really good shake And I never thought about this until just now, but I bet if you take, you know those metal beads that they put in the, the nail polish? I bet if you put one in here while you're shaking it, it would probably help to break up some of the little chunks of chalk. Maybe I'll try that again when I am finished with this. So I have my light blue, and I'm going to take my monomer. I'm going to pretend as if I was applying this to a real nail, so I'm going to take you through my basic steps. I've already um, buffed off the shine of this nail, and I'm going to use some Bond Aid, OPI Bond Aid. Then I'm going to take my acid-free divinity primer. 
This stuff is my number one favorite. I am absolutely obsessed with this primer. It's done an amazing job like no other primer has so far for me. And I love it so much. Okay, so I've got my two coats on there. I'll just give you a quick look at what it looks like. I also have the prep. Okay, so I also have a Divinity brush that they sent with my kit, so I'm just going to use that for demonstration. Okay, I'm going to dip into my monomer, wipe it halfway off, drag it in my clear. It's not quite enough. And just let it turn glossy. Do a nice thin layer of clear whenever you're applying any kind of pigment or any kind of glitter. Gonna give that a few seconds. <clears throat> okay. I dip into my blue. See, as you can see, there's little specks. It didn't really mix in how I expected it to. But I find that when I add the white, it mixes a lot better. It's very translucent. I can't really even see it, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some white. This is, a, a, this is Divinity. Um something mojo white my cuticle pusher I add one and a half cuticle pushers worth of white I might actually end up adding more pigment to it because it seems like it's not enough All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh. This is exactly the color I imagined it to come out like. Give or take a few specks of dark. I've actually seen a video on YouTube, um, I don't know who, but she actually took the pigment or the chalk or whatever she was using, I th no, I think it was eyeshadow, and she put it into a coffee grinder and that made it like really fine powder. And I was thinking about putting it into my Ninja Blender, but I kind of use that for eating, so I don't know <laughs> if I would use that for this. But I'd definitely get a coffee grinder to do this. I 
if you kind of just play with it when there's little dots in there, you can usually work them out. I mean, this isn't going to be perfect. It's not pure pigment. It's not the super fine pigment that they manufacture specifically for nails. But if you're cheap, like me, and you want to just have fun with some stuff, then chalk is just fine. You just have to kind of play with it more. So that's about how I want it. I just don't like this dark spot. Or this piece of glitter from yesterday. Okay. This is really pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to take my clear. And I'm going to encase the blue so that we can file over it. And while I'm gonna let this dry, I'm gonna get started on a cool design. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this one off. Here. And then I'm going to grab another tip that I've already prepped. And I think for this design, I'm going to use the blue and purple. layer of clear hmm. I'll do the purple first Isn't this purple so pretty? I love it. So you can't really see any dark color in the light purple. I don't know what I did to make it like that, but I love that there's really no dark pieces of purple. Just a little bit more in the corner right here. Just gonna let that set for just a second. Isn't this pretty? I think I'm just gonna buff it out really quick and then um, get back to my design. I'm using a Koopa file. 
One side's a 100 grit file and the other side's a 180 grit buffer. Really wish I had a practice hand. <laughs> take my netting. We're doing a netting design. And pull it. Push it down into the acrylic. Make sure you get the sides really well. Just let that set for just a second. I kind of pulled some off the bottom, but I've only done this a couple times. It's not going to be perfect. And then I'm going to take my blue. And just making it a little bit wetter than normal. I'm going to go in and kind of paint it on. Make sure you get into all the cracks of the sides. And I'll just let this set up again and take my blue and um, I'll just use my out the door top coat. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So pretty. So beautiful. So Eastery. There's my lid. Okay, I'm gonna move all my potters and monomer out of the way. Because I'm gonna take my file, my e file. I don't think that's quite ready yet. I'm going to start shaping this up. I'm going to take quite a bit off the bottom <laughs> because I kind of pulled all the purple chunks off.
stick this back on here and switch bits on my Koopa. I'll be using my pink safety bit from, um, where did I order that? King of Nail on Instagram. It's got the nice rounded end. Set on about halfway. Going over. this turned out exactly how I had planned it to. This usually works out pretty well. I think I let the purple cure too long before I push the netting down into it, but hopefully when I get top coat on it, you can kind of see it better. Yeah, that doesn't look great, but oh well. It's kind of on the spot kind of thing, so. And I don't have any editing stuff, so <laughs> it's going to be how it is. I should probably buff it. Oops. My phone's going dead. Okay, let me just get my top coat on. And here it is. I'm going to try to focus in on it. I hope you can see that. Actually, I hope you can't see that because it doesn't look that good. But, oh well, I'm new at this whole netting deal, so. Well, this video was to demonstrate how to make... Um, colored acrylic with pastels, so I think I did pretty good at that part at least. So I'll just show you my colors once again. I'll just show you one of each, my favorite ones of each. I'm definitely going to be using these for Easter. Blue, and the yellow, and the purple. So hopefully this can help, and I hope you all succeed at this, because it really is fun. And I'll definitely be posting pictures when I do my full set for Easter. Thank you again for watching. And I'm putting this on YouTube. It's weird, but I'm finally going to start a YouTube. So thank you again for watching and talk to you later.